The stick pop movie sets are awesome, but it feels like something's missing. Oh right, they come with sticker sheets that include clothes and facial expressions for your stick bots. So how exactly do they all work? Well, we're gonna find out in this video. Alright, so I've got this green bot here, and we're gonna put this special, this one right here, these clothes on him, and see how well it works. This is gonna be my first time trying it out. I can get these out. Okay, there we go, we got one. So we're just gonna take this out. Be very careful, we might rip the stickers. There we go, so just this little thing here, and then let's carefully put this on. There we go. Wait a minute, there. All right, so there's that, and let's get the waist area. It appears that some of these stickers are, in fact, slightly bigger than the stick bot. So the stickers kind of are overlapping the stick bot, but... Oh, well, I guess we can, you can probably cut that a little bit with some scissors. Then in a minute we're also going to see if these will be able to come off, because you may not want these stickers on a stick bot forever. Now for the legs. last piece so now for the finishing touches and careful now there we go so this is what a green stick bot looks like with stick bot clothes on wow that looks awesome this is exactly what I'd imagined when I made the video and it's got a little stick bot belt that says stick bot on it some brown overalls and a nice green shirt so the things it appears that these are well, all the stickers they can only go on like one side so the other sides of the stick bot are left blanked so now one thing that might be good is since the uh, sticker close is only on one side of the stick bot you can have another side and then all you have to do is that and now you've got a normal stick bot and he's back to normal unless you film from the back side of him then you've got your normal stick bot sterile or you can put another piece of clothes on the back of him so you can have two different kinds of clothes for whatever animation you want at a time so yeah that's an idea so and this seems to work pretty good still without with the clothes I mean uh, some of the little bits do stick out so it's not the the clothes isn't perfect scaling and some bits kind of stick out like it's it's not too big of a deal though so that doesn't matter and yeah, I think the clothes work pretty good on the stick bot. Now there's just one last test. Can we take it off the stick bot? And just like that, the stick bot has no more clothes anymore. And it was decently easy to take off. Uh, I figured out the reason why the stickers are so big is so that it's easy to come off. But yeah, stick bot can, you can take them off if you want and want to change the clothes. And I just put them right there. And stick bot is as good as good old stick bot regular. He's as good as new, so yeah, that works. Next, we're gonna figure out how the stickbot faces work and stuff. And now for one of the most biggest things that I wanted to test out is if these face replacements, how they work and will they work with this super old stickbot. This is literally the first, one of the two first stickbots that I've ever owned and he's quite rare now and you can see his face. His, he's been through a ton of animations, so we're gonna try to fix him up. And it comes with, there's at least three normal faces that you can do it, but if his face is completely gone, we can choose all these other faces, and there's more on the pirate movie set sheets and other stuff. But let's go ahead and test out the regular one and see how this works. So we just take off little mouth like this, and now we're gonna try to put it on. Make sure I'm doing this right, I don't wanna mess it up again. Oh. Wait a second. And just like that, the white stick bot who didn't have a face before now has his face back. And I say this worked pretty good. It looks a little bumpy when not on camera, but on camera, he looks like a perfectly new stick bot and that's all that really matters. So this worked really well and it is difficult to put the stickers on. Uh, you might need some help. You gotta position it in the right thing. And I kind of did, I guess the, the eye wasn't big enough right here, so there's a little bit of a mark. I'm not sure how, but yeah, this seems to work pretty well. And 
now I can finally fix all my stick bots that have uh, half faces away, like this one and yeah, I've got a ton, and I might not, I might run out of stick bots, but. Also, we've got these other ones. If I do run out of those regular stick butt faces, you've got all sorts of different kinds, like mustaches and face expressions, expressions, glasses, colored eyes. Uh, here's another one. All the kinds from the Pirate Space and Castle movie sets. There's tons of those. So yeah, we should have enough and stick butt face replacement seems to work. This is awesome. I'm gonna try on a few more stick butts. And we'll get move on to something else. And here's a few more attempts with the face replacement, and I got some pretty good, and some that don't quite look normal. So let's look at this one first. This one worked pretty good. I think one of the big issues with this is that the eyes are a little bit smaller than a original stick bot, so that might be an issue when trying to replace a stick bot, but I guess if a face is completely gone, that won't really matter. This one's face still had eyes and a little bit of mouth, so that's fine. This one only had like, it had no mouth and a little bit, barely a little bit of eyes, so you can see that one turned out, I think, okay. And then this one just had a mouth missing, so I replaced that, and this one looks actually pretty normal. So that is awesome. So, also one thing I did is I made this fancy stick bot with a nice little bow tie and a mustache. So the other little accessories such as the mustache and the bow tie, those work pretty good and we should be able to take those off as well. Because I don't want to have a mustache as my favorite stick bot, so yeah. Face replacements and all the face accessories do work pretty well and I am pleased with them. And one last thing, warning, as I was taking off the mustache for the yellow stick bot you saw now, you can see that there is a little bit like a black line right there. And that is probably the stick bot's face. And I don't really see any details, but it took off like a tiny bit of black from the stick bot's mouth. So do not put, or be very careful because these little mustaches and eyes and lipstick and stuff, they may actually take off the face. Unless you're okay with that, then you can go ahead and do that. But be careful, because these might accidentally take your stick bot off, like this one, so be careful. Just a quick warning. So, since a stick bot's face has a chance of coming off if you use a uh, facial sticker, I have a solution to that. Instead of using the stick bot's face, just turn it around, and now, we can customize it however we want and just make a whole new face. So put this here. There we go. And let's put this one here. Like that. So now we've got an angry stick one on this side and a normal stick one on this side. So you can have double sided faces and this will also stop the stick bot from accidentally losing its face when using uh, mustache or glasses or eyes. So that is a helpful technique that I hope you guys will use. So to wrap things up, these stickers are really awesome and if you're looking for something to spice up your next, your stick bots for your next stop motion animation, then these are what you need. The clothes, sticker clothes is simple to put on. The faces are a different story, but you saw the tips that I gave you, so those should help you out. And the faces, it comes with extra faces, so when your stick bot's faces wipe away, you can just put some new ones on. And it was able to repair a couple of my stick bots. It's not perfect, but it works. And yeah, sticker sheets are awesome. And these are the sticker sheets are only available in the stick bot movie sets, therefore, at the moment, coming out. And if you want to just get the sticker sheets, uh, in a single pack then you can buy them on the zinc store and I'll leave a link in the description to that But yeah, that's it for this video guys. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for some more reviews coming up And I'll see you in the next video. Bye